better than number one. Yeah. But... You know what? These are the best wines I've had. I really don't normally like wine. Mm -hmm. I could actually drink this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like number two. Oh, wow. that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> A cream so you don't see yourself one day coming in here. Yeah, it's like jello shots. Oh, we haven't seen for sure. Is it sweet? It's not that sweet. Welcome back. I'm going to resume the vlog where we left off after the winery tour and wine tasting, which was amazing. Thank you, Bashir. Um, we ended up going back home, had a snack, which I think you saw last time, and now we're going for a walk. So this vlog starts in the evening. One, two, three. I'm strolling. I'm strolling. My mother, she has show off, you see. <laughs> Walking down Bashir's neighborhood. See your dress? The the front opens up. Oh wow! Oh wow! What? Look at this log cabin looking house. Sun's coming. Yeah. Walking uphill. We'll struggle. Voice over Habiba here. I just want to point out that this was recorded over a month ago. And if, if you can remember, I was getting over that lung infection. I thought things were better and they were, but I was still really struggling to walk up that hill. And it's not just because I'm overweight or that I'm out of shape, because that's true too. And my mom is definitely in better shape than I am. But honestly, it was because I was dealing with the infection that I thought was better. And so it was a struggle for me walking uphill. How cute is this mailbox? <laughs> so cute. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Get nervous. This is very steep down this place here. Very steep. Which means, okay, it's easier going down, but when you got to come back up, it will suffer. Well, I will suffer. <laughs> but my mom... She's got all the energy. Oh. A lot of dogs in this area. We see deer here all the time. Okay, back up. We're turning around now. We're walking back home. See how steep it is. It doesn't look steep, but it is. It is. So that's where we came down from. Waiting to bite somebody if they come too close. Nope, I'm on the opposite side of the road, dog like on one side of the road there's this house would you say this is mid-century modern I'm not sure and then across there's this house it's like a little mini log cabin lots of trees in this area Nana straight ahead looks like something out of a fairy tale do you see the little well? Isn't that exactly what Bashir wants? The little well? The mini little decorative well in the front with the sunflowers. Two-car garage. Yeah, it's decorative. Home sweet home. Bashir's home sweet home. With all these giant oak trees.
looking for a lid. I'm telling you, that pot doesn't have a lid. But you don't believe me. It's cool, these magnets, how they just snap in place and then the mosquito mesh closes up. And you can leave the door open. It's a pretty nice day. So far, it's not as hot as it was yesterday. Good morning! Good morning! It's Sunday. So, we are still in New York. Today is my last full day. Kareem and I, today is our last full day in New York. Um, at least for this season, for this time of the year. I don't know when we'll be back. We may be back in for Thanksgiving. I don't know. It depends on when Nana is moving or whether she's moved or not. Or we might have Thanksgiving in North Carolina. So, not sure. But for now, today is our last full day. And it's a very quiet, peaceful day. Yesterday or the last few days, we've been out, out, out. Going all these different places. Bashir has shown us a very good time. Um, had a lot of fun experiences, eaten a lot of good food. So um, we've had a really good time. And um, yeah, I look forward to coming back soon again. But we'll see. So today we're going to take it chill, I think. I don't have any major plans. And also Bashir has gone back to work. So he had taken off a few days while we were here. Or pretty much while we were here so far. He's been off. But as of uh, last night he went back to work. So he will also work tonight and tomorrow. So anyway, it is Sunday afternoon. And hopefully you can see um, it looks like a nice day without being too hot. Oh, let's show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this really pretty dress. I didn't feel like wearing makeup and doing all that. So let me just show you what I'm wearing. So this dress. And I showed you this when I first got it, right? I showed you this, this bold pattern super bold let's lift the ladies up <laughs> let's lift the ladies up there's this little thing in my head I saw on um, TikTok or Instagram that keeps playing that's like I got, I got the, the shoes. shoes so in this case got... you know I got the shoes, I got the dress That, that makes me, me a princess, princess. I, guess. I guess Have you guys seen that one? So yeah, I'll do it again Pretend I got the shoes I got the shoes, I got the dress That makes me a princess, I guess <laughs> Or queen in my case I'd like to think of myself as a queen If you're watching, you're probably a princess or queen too Obviously, Mommy has been using curry powder on this cutting board. You can see the yellow from the curry powder. <laughs> now, do you wash it? The scallions, I'm not planning to cook. Oh, I did wash it. You could just cut it really thin and put it on the side. I usually put it in less. So, you could probably see there's a guy across there. Basically, the next plot right next to Bashir's land is the guy who's got beehives. So those beehives belong to um, a different family. And there's the guy. Sometimes they go and they just sit there looking at the bees. And I'm like, wow, they're not scared. The bees aren't going to bite them. That's so interesting. So there he is with their orange or yellow baseball cap. As you can see, I'm making cabbage and corned beef. Cabbage is so, so good for you. Lots of fiber, lots of cancer-fighting properties. Really good for you. Anyway, I love cooking in this pot, even though it looks so banged up. This pot is, uh, I guess, a traditional Dutch pot. A lot of Caribbeans use Dutch pots. 
and um, I think it used to be grandma's pot and then my mom inherited it so she's had it for years and the lid has no knob which you'll see um, but anyway I took it out of the storage because when Bashir moved he didn't have enough pots so he didn't have any pots so that's why I'm using this pot but of course since moving in he now has pots and he now has quite a few kitchen um, supplies thanks to so many of you subscribers thank you thank you so much but anyway I still like this beat up Dutch pot <laughs> Sprinkle on some green onions, which will go well with potatoes. I gotta show you Nana's outfit. She's looking cute. Yeah, see the outside shows the outfit look. Yeah, nice. So you're saying this is native? This is like Indian, right? Right. That's my name. Which most people think when you were younger, everyone thought you were Indian. But you're not really Indian, right? I'm People Arawak. ask me that all the time. You're what? Arawak. Arawak where? <laughs> Arawak is Jamaican. Jamaican. Really? Yeah, the natural Indians in Jamaica. Hmm. The, those were the natives. All right, those so were... Grandpa, if Grandpa was alive right now, he would say he was Arawak? No, he doesn't acknowledge. No. Oh, okay. Because I know I didn't hear that growing up. No, but I recognize it now that I'm older. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me see. Is that, it's actually stitched on? Oh, yeah, like when we were younger. They're embroidered. We used to, um, yeah, make this cross stitch. Yeah. Nice. I need to get you some uh, Indian style earrings. Yeah. <laughs> to go with your outfit. I guess you'll do well in North Carolina then, because we have so many different tribes of or Indian tribes and they have like their powwows and all their different celebratory occasions that you can check out. Mm. So what's that got to do with me? You just said you were Indian, didn't you not? I, I just said I'm a I'm from the tribe of Arawak. <laughs> if you're Jamaican, comment below. <laughs> the natives of Jamaica. Mm. The original people. Oh they okay. Alright, so is it the potatoes? Kareem put a corn of his in here because he wanted it to look roasted. We have boiled corn and the corned beef and cabbage. We just finished eating and Bashir is up because I told you earlier he's back to work so he had a nap or a sleep and now he's back up and then he has to go back to sleep a little bit before work. Five hours Actually, sleep. Four hours to be quiet. So I don't know how he does this interrupted sleep thing, yeah. but he does. Well, you know, I, I don't have normal work hours, unfortunately. Yeah. It's hard with uh, the sun. Right. Uh, so when you work so night, it's hard it's to have normal. a normal well, schedule. I need to get on some kind of pills, but I don't want to do that either. No. To force me to sleep a little bit longer. No. If you can avoid any medication, you should avoid it. Um, yeah, I've heard of like melatonin is one. Some people. I don't know. I mean, I've never taken it. I know patients who've taken it. But, you know. I've taken melatonin. Does it work for you? It's, it's, it's very mild. It, you know, it's very mild. It gives that to it's children. an addictive drug? I don't think it's an addictive no, drug, no. Addictive. Not the natural herbal stuff. But sometimes... Tomorrow this time I'm sad. Here myself. He's sad that we're going to go. <laughs> it's not sad. We're, we're, we're always... We're literally, no, it will literally, when you think about it, an hour away by plane. <laughs> literally an hour away. Yeah, if you got the money, well, I don't know, Kareem, do you remember how much it cost us? Actually, Kareem paid for his and I paid for mine. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. So, I, well, I don't understand. I offered to pay for Kareem's ticket. He Why told me and he that? said no. He told Why me you, you offered. I said no. How much was it? I don't know. I just, just took it out of the account. We sure is going to miss Kareem company, even though we were only here like five days or six days. 
We're only here. No, we weren't here a week. We were here six days. Five business days. Bisher, mm. bye bye, Uncle Bisher's house. I don't know when we'll see this next, this deck again, or what season I'll see it in. Whether the next time I come back there's snow or not. <laughs> see you later. Bye, house. Bye, house. Bye, oak trees. Six months. <laughs> Six months, I don't know. As we head to the airport, Nana's putting on her seat belt. You know what happened the last time. <laughs> but no, seriously, um, yeah, it's a long, peaceful drive. Very beautiful. I can totally understand how Bashir likes this area compared to the city. see the lamb in the middle. Personally, I will always love New York and we had a blast. But anyway, it's time to head home, back to North Carolina, home sweet home. Look how beautiful those mountains are though. And the lake, so beautiful, so majestic. So as we're heading back to the airport, everything is fine. And then all of a sudden traffic goes to a standstill. So I'm trying not to completely panic because usually no matter what, I try to stay pretty optimistic. Like, you know, I've never missed a flight. Today's not gonna be the day. <laughs> but as you can see, we were literally crawling. Finally, 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 we get back on it and the traffic opens up. I don't remember if there was an accident or there was construction, but there was literally one lane. It finally opened up and we headed to the airport. A mile. Keep right at the fork. Follow signs for I-87 South, New York. To take exit 50. But the gas prices have come down. Mm -hmm. It went up to nearly $6. Yes. It was $5.89. So we're at the airport now in New Jersey. In the past, when we would go to New York, we would go into JFK, which is in Queens. But now we're going to the airport in New Jersey because it's closer, sort of, to Bashir. <laughs> oh yeah, man, where's my mask? I better put my mask on. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I said before I feel more comfortable wearing a mask in the airport it's just a totally different animal it's not like being outside in the city uh-uh <laughs> no. so we just got out of um, security you had to have all your stuff checked and get all x-rayed and all of that so now we're gonna wipe off you know, because you had to put your stuff in the bin and tech, take everything out. So we're going to wipe off, disinfect um, all our stuff. 2.15 now. <sighs> wow. Busy. Busy. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for the next vlog. We'll be celebrating my birthday. <laughs> He's always been chunkier. <laughs> so did they take any blood from you no, or? I think you look a lot like my father. Hello, Mohammed Bella to now if you're watching this. Sun number one. Did you wrap it? Yeah.